I'm over here, especially for Wayne Castle in Vegas. Now, I couldn't resist uh, starting in the bathroom um, because of gold taps. It's gold taps. I've never had gold taps ever in my life before. Right? Now, bear in mind, you don't know, man, he used to be homeless at one time. Um, rooms like this always sort of make me happy, you know. But uh, yeah, it's very nice, and I've got my own little office area over there. I've got music on the I've paused it because I've watched you on just playing through my classical album, you know. I did think about leaving it playing during the video, but well, the trouble with that is that, you know, people are just going to say it's nepotism and not realise that actually um, I write these things for me, I write for me to listen to. That's the whole point. Uh, so there's no point making stuff to listen to if you're not actually going to listen to it. So they've, done, they've actually done pretty well so far because there's no publicity whatsoever. Nothing, not a thing, you know, it's just all word of mouth. Um, but yeah, so I'm in Vegas for uh, Otis University and I'm on the cave side, which is the media and entertainment stuff. So I have the lecture to do on Wednesday, I think it is. Um, this covers a new way of doing digital doubles, so it'll cut down the development time of a film quality digital double to 24 hours, right? which is sort of big news, really. Then I've got on the 3rd of December, uh, is that Tuesday? I've got uh, this, this Tuesday one will be being live on the net, on the area, right? Um, and it's uh, going to be a breakdown of the whole sort of River Street Fossey Jaw thing, you know, the womb, the hole in the mouth, right? So sort of covering all the challenges and how we got around that and, you know, it's very interesting as a shot because it's quite complex and not as simple as people might think. So, uh, that, covering that one. Um, the other one won't be, as far as I know, streamed live. Uh, that's probably because, you know, there's bits of things in there that um, I would need release forms to show. So, I'm, whereas I'm fine at an event, uh, I can't, you know, just suddenly go having things beamed all over the place. It's a legal thing, right? Sorry, it is. So today I'm going to have myself a wander around. Uh, I haven't had a cup of coffee yet, which is why I've got this slightly mad, wild look in my eyes. Got to find someone to eat. I haven't had anything to eat since um, midday yesterday GMT, which is eight hours behind. So I don't know what the hell time that is now. How many hours? But it's a lot of hours, right? I need something to eat. Um, and I was going to do all the check-in for the event and stuff later on. There's a party tonight at the Tau and all that, you know, so for it, so I'm obviously going to be at that. I was um, out last night um, with sort of Neil Hazard um, and Daniel Perro. And now Neil's sort of involved heavily in the 3D Max development site. And uh, I'm not going to go too deeply because that's worth things for him, you know. So we went to the, uh, the Bourbon Room um, here at the Venetian. Um, very nice, very nice it was. We had a good time. All the beer is quite expensive. You know, chances of getting pissed fairly slim, I would say. But because um, I'm not really going to spend that much money on a beer ever, because I'm a bit of a skinflint, really. So I'm going to go now because I want to have a little walk around. Because I've got to acclimatise the accent and get my voice less of an accent. So I do that, you know. But depending on the event, if I've got time, I'll go and I'll have a wander around for a day or two and just acclimatise the local accents and sort of tone mine down a bit, you know, so it's a bit easier for people to understand. Um, so that's just part of the process. Besides, it also means that I can take some awesome photographs. But uh, I'm still trying to work out what the hell this black smudge on here. So, okay, answers on a postcard, please. As these to say, I'm not sure what the fuck that's supposed to be. It's the sort of thing that my daughter would, would do if you left some oil paints lying around, you know. It is very nice, it does have a sense of balance, yes. But, uh, not a big fan of that, that one, I just, no, I'm not a big fan of these brown and green things, you know. So it's, it's nice, but it's not my thing. Yes, and there's some squiggly things over there. God damn it, get some decent art in. I know there's an art gallery here as well, so I'm gonna have to check that out. Where, and bizarrely, because the walls are metal, they've had to turn the paintings into effectively the world's most expensive fridge magnets. Um, so we've got Picasso's that are basically a Picasso is now a fridge magnet sticking on the wall. That's true that, look it up, the Venetian and the art gallery and they are actually big magnets on the walls. Um, the original paintings worth millions and millions, they turned into a fucking fridge magnet. This is everything I think you need to know. Right, I'm off now. Bye bye.